Today, I'm going to discuss a very important topic. Sometimes we notice something green or bluish green colored substances on the soil surface. Even recently, I'm dealing with such problem of one of my plants and as you can see here, the plant is not doing well. What are these? Whether these are harmful or beneficial and how to get rid of them? I'm going to discuss all these aspects in this video. So if you have faced or facing such a problem with one of your plants or in your garden, then hopefully this video will help you. And with this, hello plant lovers, I'm Nishat Suba from Bangladesh and welcome to Plantology. Now, what are these? These can be algae or mold or moss. But most of the time, the green thin colonies we often notice in the soil are algae. And in my case, I'm also dealing with such algae as you can see here. Now talk about the reason why these are here. Algae or anything green thin layer we often notice on the soil surface appears due to overwatering and it is very common in the monsoon season because plants get excess water due to excessive rain however soil contains several varieties of algae spores even these spores can transfer from one place to another by water and air and when these microplant spores exposed to a favorable condition which is humidity moisture and warmth at the same time they sprout and create their colony on the soil surface now algae are autotrophs that means they need sunlight to make food that's why we often notice them on the soil surface now let me explain whether these are harmful or beneficial now algae are not harmful or toxic at all they are more beneficial to the soil, to the plant, and the microbes that are present in the soil. Algae generally produce oxygen, which is utilized by the plant roots as well as the soil microbes. Now, the problem is these algae block the soil surface by creating their colonies. And that's why water cannot penetrate into the soil, the air cannot flow between the soil layers. Also, water stand on the soil surface and cause overwatering on the upper layers of the soil which can rot the lateral roots as well as the plant base also such type of overwatering on the upper layers of the soil can attract pests such as mealybugs now most gardeners do their gardening in small containers or small place even I grow plants in containers and the container plants get overwatered or suffered by root rot very often so for such gardening uh, this type of algae growth can disturb the plant growth now we need to take care of this problem because we do our gardening in small areas there are several ways you can pour hydrogen peroxide but i'm not going to recommend it because it destroys both harmful and beneficial bacteria and as i said before algae are non-toxic so the best way to remove this algae is just losing and scratching the upper layer of the soil also loosen up the soil surface and added some fertilizer also you can scrap out the upper a few inches of the soil and can add new soil which also can uh, control the algae growth Furthermore, you can use sterile medium such as coco peat, peat moss or lacquer balls which rarely contain algae spores. 
You can also use fungicide or herbicide, but algaes are non-toxic, so I just took the primary precautions. And most importantly, avoid overwatering the plant because this is the only reason, this is the major reason why these algaes are here, create their colonies. But if your soil has molds or fungus, then either you need to use fungicide or you need to repot the plant. So that's all. I tried to cover all the important things that you should know about algae or such type of green growth on the soil surface. If I missed any point or if you have any suggestion, feel free to know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Take care.